All right, so I just want to do a little quick video experiment today. So what I've got want to do is I'm going to take two bearings, which are these, and I'm going to put them in water overnight and see what happens. So one of them is going to have uh, white lithium grease in him, in it, and the other is going to have three-in-one oil. And um, this is the one that has white lithium grease in it. And this is a bearing I took off um, one of my one of my boards a while back. It's just been sitting in my drawer for a while, but it's got grease in it, and it's been run and ridden, and so all the extra oil has already worked its way out. So there's not it's not packed with oil like it would be if it had just been cleaned. So it's a fair test for that one. And this one I was packed. This was from the same wheel. It's this one. It was packed with white lithium grease. I cleaned it out, and I'm about to put this three-in-one oil on it. But first, I wanted to show you the condition on the inside. I don't know how well you can see. Probably right here is in focus. Um, but the inside is all clean and shiny still. There's no sign of rust or corrosion. The outside of the race of this one does have a little bit. You can see right there. Um, uh, but that's all this one has. The inside's clean. This one, I did open it up and check to make sure that there was no corrosion on the inside. Um, there's no, there's a tiny, tiny bit of corrosion on the outside of the race, and there's a little corrosion on this face, but otherwise, you know, these are both clean, so that's important to know their before condition, if we're going to look at them afterwards. Right? So, getting ready to put oil in this one. So let's put the shields on. The shields I also cleaned because they have grease on them. I'm just going to pop them on. Now, I believe the convention for race oil or oil is to put three drops in. So let's put, um, let's put it out of the way so you can see. Let's put three drops in. One, two, three and a half drops. Okay. And there we go. Work it in. I'm going to put a little extra in there. And I'll let it wear out. A little, let it work itself out after I put the other race on. There we go. There we go. Oops. So put the other race on. There it goes. And I'll make sure it's all dry. Spin it to make sure the extra oil works its way out, and and that should be good. Yeah, it seems like that's pretty stable now. There's very little oil working its way out now. Okay, so that's it. We've got. <laughs> I worked the uh, three in one off a little bit. We can still read it. Three in one, and white lithium grease. So, this is our vessel. Put the bearings in there. And then I've also got this just, um, this is a chainmail ring. Um, and I'll just put that in there just as a comparison because that'll rust a lot. And this is, that's just mild steel. The bearings should be stainless steel. So, that'll be interesting just to see how much or how much less stainless steel rusts compared to normal steel. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fill this up with water, but I'm not going to cover the tops of the bearings because you need both air and water. Ah, there, that's what that was to come to. Yeah, you need both air and water for it to rust. Well, you don't, but it's faster if it rusts with both air and water. And then, because roads get salty, I'll put some salt in there. And that'll be our simulation. So, I'll let this run overnight. What I expect to happen, however, let's see, let's make sure it's all good. Yeah, what I expect to happen is, um, I don't expect the white lithium grease bearing to rust very much. And I expect the um, three-in-one oil to rust more. I don't know if it's going to rust a lot 
or not rest a lot. But yeah, the whole the whole um, the whole concept here is um, racing oils, and a lot of the oils that people use for their bearings are are thin oils, and and three in one isn't an unpopular oil to use either. But yeah, usually usually the the nicer and faster race oils are thinner. So the point of this is to compare a thick grease with a thin oil and see if the thin oil has, does a better job at protecting the, the bearing than a thick grease. And this isn't even a waterproof grease. You can get like water marine, waterproof marine grease. Um, white lithium grease is actually, um, um, it'll, it'll emulsify uh, water into it and carry water. Um, so it's not even completely waterproof. Um, but I expect it to do a much better job than the 3-in-1, but we will see. So I'm going to move this probably over there, and then I'll take a look at it tomorrow. Okay, so we're back, and we've got the bearings that have been in water for, let's see, maybe about 20, 20, 21 hours, somewhere in that range. And um, it's got a whole bunch of rust in here, I don't know if you can tell. It was all settled and stuff. There's a lot of it around the bearings, but I think most of it actually came from the ring and then just drifted around. But so here we've got white lithium grease here and the uh, tree one oil here. If you look on the outsides, they don't look too bad. I mean, it's definitely corroded and it's got spots where it's all patchy and how it looks. You know. Um, the one thing I was thinking about doing is just letting it, taking the bearings out and letting them dry. Um, but I'm too anxious to see what's going on inside of them. So let's open up, let's open up the white lithium grease one first. And let's put it on the table so I know it's in focus. And well the grease is still white. So that's good. It looks good to me. I don't know if you can see it. Let me take a peek around the camera. Okay. So this is the one with the white with some grease in it. The grease is white, not orange at all. Um, it looks pretty good on the inside. You can see the externals are pretty rusted. Uh, the inner race um, still has rust sitting on it because um, the outside that's rubbed off of my fingers from holding it, but it's still on the inside there. So let's take a look at the uh, three in one. Okay, it's right there. Okay, three in one oil bearing. Let's put it over there. <laughs> Stain the table with grease there. And uh, come on. There we go. And it looks like, it looks good to me. Oh, wait, there's a tiny bit of stuff. Okay, I'll zoom in for you. It's actually, I'm zooming out and then putting the bearing closer. Um, so if you look, so the inner race on this one's a little worse. Got a bunch of junk there. And the opposite side of the race does have a, a few tiny spots, but for the most part, it's all really good. Um, there's even, I mean, there's, there's hardly any corrosion at all. The oil, I suspect, actually stuck to the metal and kept the water off so 
And I did, in fact, um, so about three times I came in when it was wet and spun it. So it wasn't just sitting still in water, it was spun, you know, lightly. I mean, it wasn't like riding, but um, yeah, it looks really good. Oh yeah, here's the spot where you can kind of see a little bit of the wear right there. Um, it looks like it's, anyway, yeah, it looks really good. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to clean them and see without anything on them if I can tell anything different. And I'll be right back. Okay, so they're cleaned out. This one, I actually, um, I believe, I can't tell them apart anymore very well. Um, this one, I believe, is the one that had the white lithium grease in it. And this is the one I believe had, had three in one oil in it. And I believe that because one of the three in one oil um, was at a different level of water, and so it has corrosion more on the side where the water level was, was moving around. And the white lithium grease was kind of a little bit deeper, and so it has more corrosion on the top. So that's how I can tell them apart. That's the only way. Um, they look very, very, very good on the inside. Um, there's no corrosion. Um, what I thought was corrosion on the inside of the race here, I think was just stuff that got in when I took the, the, um, the, the seal off bearing seal. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very impressed how well he's handled it. Um, I really think that having a good seal on the bearing does a lot more than we think to protecting the bearing from water. And I think that the lubricant itself does a lot more than we think in protecting the bearing from water. And I think as long as you have well lubricated bearings, water should be far less of an issue for you. So I think a lot of people tend to under lubricate. They don't lubricate enough if, um, or they don't, um, so if they use a thin oil, they don't lubricate frequently enough or, you know, they just don't use enough oil in their bearings or grease. Um, and also, um, my other conclusion is that if you really want waterproof bearings, I really think just getting some waterproof marine grease will actually do a ton just because of the fact that even oil was able to protect it so much. So yeah, I feel like I could have kept them maybe a full week or something. They're in really good shape. These are definitely going you know, back in my drawer, back with all my other bearings, and these are going to go back into a wheel. I'm very, very happy with the results. Oh, and I dropped them on the floor. So there you go. These bearings have been in water, submerged, for 20 hours, and they're still in great shape. So, I think, you know, you shouldn't be as scared of water as you think, especially if you maintain your bearings well, have good seals, and lube them up. So, I guess that's my conclusion. Uh, Longboard Technology, over and out.